Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week on YouTube and also a podcast. We're talking about all things spirituality, metaphysics, the occult and business, how to create a brand and also relationships. So we have three different series going on. And this one is Solo Trip Podcast, which is all about spirituality and metaphysics. So let's jump straight into this topic. It has been a minute since I have filmed, so that's why I feel a little bit like, whoa, a bit flustered and it's very, very hot in this fucking room because I need lights to be able to like, what's the phrase, like reflect me? Why am I being so thick right now? <laughs> what's the phrase? So yeah, I need lights to basically light up my face and it's making this room extremely hot. So please forgive me if I start sweating, but I'm wearing my new merch and I really wanted to wear it because I haven't worn it in a minute and it just went back up onto my website. I finally re-uploaded all of my merch. So it's available worldwide. The link will be in the description box if you wanna check it out. So that is why I'm wearing a hoodie when it was like really hot last week. But this is the UK and the weather is so unpredictable and one minute it will be boiling and the next minute it will be freezing. So anyway, I decided to just wear it and bear the heat. So if you see me sweating, that is why. <laughs> so for this video, I wanna talk about spiritual practices because it's something that I'm learning how to implement into my daily routines. And I, I don't know why, but I really felt like when you think about meditation or you think about magic and spell work and energy work and even like chakra work, it kind of, sometimes it sounds like it's gonna be ineffective. Like when you think about what magic is, magic is literally your thoughts, your energy, your intent, and your focus. And those things are something that we do on a daily basis. Like it's something that you already do. You already think, you already speak words, you already put your focus and your intent into things, sometimes without you even consciously being aware of it. So because we already do this, I kind of felt like, wow, is that really all it is? Like, is that really all magic is? It's just those things that we already do, you know? It kind of, it shocked me in a way and then it can kind of feel like well maybe it won't actually be effective maybe that's too simple for it to be that maybe it's supposed to be way more complicated and than, than that so if I just like say affirmations and things then it's not gonna work sort of thing like it makes you kind of doubt it or at least for me it made me feel like that's just too obvious and too simple and made me doubt my ability to make that actually change my life and actually work and happen but I also feel like that's a common problem in this like spiritual community if that's what you want to call it where a lot of the phrases that people say are very vague and they're kept vague on purpose because then you'll keep going back to them because you feel like they know more than you and you need to keep going to them for the truth and the information because they don't actually elaborate on what it is that they mean, you know? But when you actually break it down, it's very, very simple and it's things that we already do anyway. So that means that it does work because we literally do it on a daily basis, but we're just not consciously aware of it. So when you become consciously aware of it, you can then literally like, harness and magnify your power because now you're choosing specifically what you put your focus into where your intent lies and all of these things like you actually adjust it and put it to where you want it rather than it just being autopilot like an automatic thing that you do without thinking you know so I definitely think spiritual practices are so so important and so key and I'm realizing especially during this pandemic situation and having to be at home like it's just so important to implement them and because I mean it's like about taking care of yourself and it's about being able to observe your thoughts and observe your emotions without being consumed by them and when you put that into practice you really can transform your life and transform how you move through your life and the types of situations and circumstances that you attract but also how you feel about the circumstances and situations that you attract you know so I started thinking about this with all of the protesting that's been going on like I was thinking about how we can all together send out healing energy to all of the protesters and to anyone that's suffering and things like that and a lot of spiritual practices 
people will do that for their family on a daily basis and that kind of thing where you just send love out you send healing energy out sometimes I'll like call back my energy as well that I've given away and stuff I like I'll bring it back to myself and I don't know like the thought kind of came into my head of like is this really working like is this weird you know is this silly is this stupid and I feel like that really comes from all of the films that are um and tv shows as well that kind of portray magic and witchery and things like that to be very weird and very dark and evil and like crazy and stuff when actually it's things that you just do on a daily basis anyway and it's like simple things it's basically a thought it's basically an intent and it's basically an energy focus like putting your focus onto something and that's something that you literally do on a daily basis so how can that be crazy or weird and how could that not work you know and utilizing these spiritual practices especially if you're consistent like on a daily basis if you do this it will really help you to direct your energy wherever you want it to be but without distraction without it constantly wandering off elsewhere you know and you being thrown off of what you actually intended to happen and what you wanted you'll be able to focus a lot easier even just in your daily life like if you're studying for something if you're working or something you'll find that when you have a consistent spiritual practice like a foundation of things that you like to do you'll be able to focus and you'll notice it in way more areas of your life where it like has a domino effect and yeah I don't know I just think it's really beneficial and for some reason I just felt like is this weird <laughs> does this work kind of thing and then I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys because I know that other people will probably think like oh meditation just sounds a bit like silly or I don't know like maybe it's just not going to work for me maybe it's just this or that you know and not just meditation but like even rituals even affirmations um yeah even herbs to be honest like I've had people be skeptical about that and I think we just don't realize the power of our minds and the power of our bodies and how everything is so interconnected and I definitely feel like if a lot more people were to research the science behind that then we would have such a deep understanding but obviously science is just proving things that are already known spiritually and it just kind of confirms it to the human ego mind but because we've been so caught up in our ego mind for so goddamn long, I think we kind of need that um, that truth or that information and knowledge to be able to kind of get past this ego mind and into the spiritual, you know? Like, you need that to be soothed and laid to rest a little bit, to calm down a little bit. So we definitely need the science to back it up as well. And I think that if we were to look into that a bit more, then we would understand that actually meditation is so goddamn powerful herbs are so goddamn powerful this is why they've been used in ancient cultures for so so long so yeah i just think a spiritual practice foundation is so key for our mental health our emotional health our physical health and then that will help us with creating the reality that we actually want you know and these things do work and they are very very powerful and they are so simple it's not over complicated it's things that you do on a daily basis you know like just sitting there and breathing the power of breath is next level like it's how you're even able to be here it's how you survive it's how you live you know like your body needs oxygen and the power of being able to breathe and being able to consciously breathe like being aware of the breath that you're taking in and holding your breath for a certain amount of time and stuff like being able to do breath work like that is so powerful for the body and I don't think people realize exactly how powerful it is or I don't think I realized how powerful it is and I'm starting to now so I just wanted to let you guys know as well in case you're thinking about developing some kind of spiritual practice in your daily life because it's so so transformational and so powerful but obviously we're not going to be consistent 24 7 so there's no pressure on that either like you just pick a couple of things that you like and do them when you feel like doing them you know so I hope this video was helpful thank you so much for listening and watching and don't forget to check out the description box for all links to my merch my music my social media my phone number I have also started sending daily 
I don't know what to call them. Like I was calling them solar trips because that's kind of like my brand, but it's basically like motivational, inspirational, spiritual thoughts. I send them every day because I did put a Instagram poll up and you guys voted for daily rather than weekly. So I'm sending them out every day. So if you want to receive them, my number is in the description box below. You can just text me your name, text me saying yes, whatever kind of word you want to say, and I will reply to you and I will put you on the list to receive all of these messages every day. But yes, thank you so much for listening and watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye. Oh, yeah, think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, think you might. I'm the thing you like, be my range all white. Oh, yeah, think you might. I'm the thing you like, be my range all white.